What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm gonna take this sterling silver silverware and melt it down and make a bar. Thank you so much for watching my video, I sincerely appreciate it. This is gonna be a fun one. I'm gonna take this sterling silver silverware, melt it down in my furnace, and make a sterling silver bar out of it. Now, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, but these won't fit in my crucible the way they are, so I actually gotta bend them into a shape like this, and then they'll fit in there, and hopefully I'll be able to get it hot enough to melt them down. So let's go over to the furnace, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm only at 1071 uh, Celsius. Uh, 1095 is what I normally melt my three nines fine silver at. I've never melted sterling silver, uh, but one thing I noticed is there's a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, you can see all that smoke. It looks like pretty liquid in there. Uh, so I think we're probably about ready to pour. So I'm gonna get set up and we'll try and pour a sterling silver bar. I think I got most of it in there. Very interesting. There must have been some sort of film or something. Look at that just glow. Wow, that's really cool. See that? That's super awesome. I've never seen anything like that. Way different than regular three nines fine silver. Let's turn this off. Wow, very crazy. <laughs> it's so dark too. And look how long it takes to cool down. It's still glowing hot. Wow. I'm gonna dump this out and see if there's anything left in that crucible. I think the crucible is probably toast. <laughs> I'm gonna need to buy a new one. Let's see if I can dump this out. That is a heavy pour. Wow, very unique looking bar. Let me try and get the rest, see if there's anything left in that crucible out first. This crucible is definitely toast. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, nice. See that just sort of glow? That's crazy. <laughs> wow, what a fun project. Got a little little sterling silver doodad right there. I don't think there's anything left in there. All right, I'm gonna shut down the furnace. Here comes the quench. That was epic. So I've had the furnace off for about five minutes and check this out, still smoking. <laughs> That's crazy. And here's the two bars we poured. Very interesting looking. Very, very unique. Let's see if I can get this uh, cleaned up and looking schnazzy. I don't know, uh, I don't know how it's gonna exactly work, but I'm gonna try and clean it up the best I can. I'll show you the other side. That's crazy. So much different than uh, working with three nines fine silver. All right, let the cleanup begin. All right, so I got the piece all cleaned up and oh, look at the amazing texture on this bar. Wow, this is so incredibly unique. There's no way I could ever duplicate this pour if I tried. You know, I mean, look at this thing. It's like a tiger bar or uh, I don't even know. It's just, it looks really cool. To me, it looks like tiger stripes like in here, maybe a tiger's face or something. And it's just incredibly textured. Um, so cool. Uh, so I, I really like the way this turned out. Honestly, it poured so much different than uh, pure silver. Um, so I do have it all stamped up on the back. We got uh, 
13.9 troy ounces is what it ended up being. I got 925 stamped on there. And then I was trying to stamp my uh, dragon stamp, this guy. And because I think because there's copper in here, it's much harder to actually get the stamp on there. And so I ended up doing like a, I, I doubled it and then I tripled it and quadrupled it and quintupled it. So there's like five dragons that ended up being on there. Uh, but you know what, this is my first ever sterling pour. So uh, whatever, it's still cool. I mean, even the back looks cool. Look at that. Such a cool bar. Wow. I definitely want to do some more of these, but it's just, it's so weird compared to pouring pure silver. I'm just not used to it. And look at the color on this thing. I mean, that's that's crazy different. I mean, I expected it to be more silvery. This looks almost like gold, you know? It's just, I mean, it is golden color, um, but obviously it's uh, sterling silver. And I don't know if there's anything, you know, that they maybe add in into the silverware. Uh, it, you know, do they put like extra, um, I, I don't know, just dye or something, or maybe it's just aged, it's old and it gets that color. I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, you can see where I stamped. See, it's kind of coming through the surface there. Um, so this just might sort of be on the surface that it's this golden color. And then once you kind of get through, it's a little bit more silvery, but you know, it's copper and silver. So I'm not really surprised about the color, but it does look very cool. Awesome, unique bar. Never expected it in a million years to turn out like this. Um, and there was a little bit left over, you know, this was a little extra pores. So this is the color it is. Uh, before you clean it up almost a really nice rainbow on this side I wanted to just sort of leave this in its natural state um, and then there was a little extra bit there too and one thing too that I never expected was all the white sort of dust coming off um, you can see there's some on there uh, it's just really weird but uh, anyway uh, so there you have it my first ever sterling silver pour. It was very interesting. I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing a lot more of them in the future. Obviously, you have to have a crucible just for these. Uh, that crucible I was using is pretty much wasted. So, uh, you know, if I do more sterling pours in the future, I'll get my own crucible uh, just for those. And then if I ever end up doing copper in the future, I'll have to get my own crucible for that. Uh, but I probably would get a new furnace first just so I can heat it up hotter. Uh, so anyway, that's the way it ended up turning out. I am really pleased with this bar. I'm going to be shipping it off to the gentleman that asked me to pour this for him. And uh, I do want to say thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons out.